All right, so guys, I'm gonna take this time out here as I'm recording. Let me record this video. I wanted to make it during the week as I saw the comments, the comments, the comments, <laughs> comments, the comments come in. It comments. You can't say comments because it sounds like you're saying let's resume, right? So, um, all right. So season eight. Um, I think I'm at episode nine, right? Um, so I saw the, the, the comments coming in during the week. Of course, I was loving them, whatever the situation is. We're all going to have different perspective on things. And during the, during the reactions, as I was watching them, it didn't feel as bad as when I actually sat down and thought about it. And the reason why I'm saying, saying this is because I do my reviews off the cuff right after I finish reacting to the episodes you guys know this right so as i got some time to think you know actually you know reading through some of the comments and stuff like that and seeing what you guys are saying about you know what happened with the actor and the direction of the show and all this other stuff and i have to say this i get it i get why people are upset about season eight and with carl's death you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't want them to kill off Carl. I didn't know the circumstances behind it. I didn't know that Carl didn't die in, in the comics. I didn't know any of this. You get what I'm saying? So, in my in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, um, I'm just watching the show. So, I didn't know the circumstances behind why they chose to kill off Carl, if it was a stupid decision or not, by the direction of the show, by the writers of the show. I don't know what it is. The producers of the show, wh whoever made that decision, right? In context of what you guys are telling me in the comments, it was a dumb decision. If the character didn't die in the actual source material, why kill the character in the show? Makes no sense, right? So I can understand the 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 um the frustration, the 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 disappointment in seeing one of the best characters, one of the characters that could have probably carried the show after the fact. You get what I'm saying? Like, they could have had a sequel with him, maybe. You know, you get what I'm saying? So, everybody expected that if Rick died, Carl would have carried the show. I never saw it like that. So, from me watching, from me watching the show, I never saw Carl as a person that would have carried the show if Rick died. I never saw... I never saw Carl in that role. Yes, badass character. Yes, character that has grown over the eight seasons we've been watching him. But I never saw Carl in that role. If you guys saw Carl in that role, as I said, somebody asked me the question the other day of a person that, you know, um, I think I said this already during the review where I was talking about somebody left in the comments and asked me that question, you know, a, a, a character that has you know, plot armor, right, that I believe has plot armor, which obviously Carl does not have plot armor, and I actually named Carl and Carol. Carol is by far my best, my favorite female character in the show, right, by far. So, I chose Carol. I don't think, I think if they killed off Carol, the character, I think I would be balling just as much as I cried for Lagatha from Vikings, right? As much as they kind of kind of destroyed her character in a way for the for, for um for season five. Um they kind of try to bring her back bring her back uh, in a certain way in season six and then she died. But I think I would have the same reaction if Carol died in the show so Carl was one of those characters that I named because I didn't want to see Carl die reason being he's the youngest of the main cast right he's the youngest of the main cast he's the youngest of everybody that's coming from season one he we've grown up with Carl you get what I'm saying? Even though I'm binge watching, I can imagine the people that's been watching this for eight years up to season eight to see Carl die like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, 
it's like you already in a relationship with everybody in the show. I've only been watching The Walking Dead for, I don't know, maybe six months. I'm not even sure when, I don't remember when I started watching The Walking Dead, but um, it's more than six months because it's I've been watching it since last year. So I don't think it's been a year since I've been watching since I've been watching the show, I don't think it's been a year. So I th I, I'm pretty sure it was last year I started watching it. So it's more than six months because we're in July. So my thing is, even though it's been that short of a time for me, I've still developed this kind of relationship with him. So I can't imagine what it's like for other people that's been watching the show for eight freaking years, eight to nine years. It's crazy. So I can understand how they feel. But looking at this, um, somebody was saying, I guess we have different definitions of what a good death is. And I have to say, like, you know, looking back at it, the way how the way how they did, it, I didn't like how they did it. But at the same time, I would I would rather see it this way than to see him get his head bashed in. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, was Carl um, an essential part of the show? Yes. But also, um, looking at it from an objective point of view, and I, 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 I'm, I'm saying this for my benefit and for you guys' benefit. We, we all fall in love with characters. Listen, I was devastated when they killed Jon Snow in Game of Thrones. Devastated. I never expected that out of Game of Thrones, even though I was watching the show for five seasons. Even though I was watching the show for five seasons and basically nobody is safe in that show. If you look at it, in the end, nobody was really safe. You get what I'm saying? So, yes, some people lasted until the final season, but nobody was safe. You never knew who they were going to kill at any moment, right? I mean, they killed one of my favorite characters in season one. Grew to love him in season one. They killed him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. So it's not that I've not come to expect that of The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is kind of like the same way. Did you guys see Glenn's death coming? I didn't see Glenn's death coming. I didn't see that shit coming. It surprised the hell out of me that they would kill Glenn. Glenn is coming from the first episode of The Walking Dead. So for me, when it comes on to Carl, if they can kill Glenn... Looking at it objectively, why wouldn't they kill Carl? I'm, and I'm just saying this from just watching the show because I don't know anything about the, 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 the source material, right? I don't know anything about that. I haven't read that. So if people have read that, I can understand why they're upset. But at the same time, me just watching the show, I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, it's better than him getting his noggin knocked in by Negan. So... There are some things that are going on throughout season eight that I really want to talk about now. Actually, that I have time now to actually think about it during the day. If I have time to actually think about it, then just, you know, be putting out episode, episode, episodes. Now I can put out four episodes, schedule them for you guys and actually have the week to actually think about what I just reacted to. And I can do stuff like this. I can do an actual um, review like this. Um, not that I'm going to be doing this all the time. But maybe I'll start doing like a weekly breakdown review of what we just watched for the week at the end of the week. And I'll put that video out when I get it, if I get a chance to do it. So I decided to do this because I saw the comments and I love the comments. No matter what you guys have to say, your opinion is always welcome on this channel. Um, I might not like it, but that's just what opinions are. Your opinion might differ from mine. As I said before, I've set the standard on this channel. Just don't come on the channel calling me an idiot or nothing like that. I will delete those comments. I will tell your ass off if I need to. Um, that's just me. Keep it respectful and your opinion will be respected. A lot of times I respond to people's um, comments and let them know how I feel about the situation. That doesn't that doesn't dev um, devalue what you put on the table. It just so that both of our opinions are there and we might have a different feeling towards it. It's a damn TV show. Okay. So we are going to have different perspective on what we just saw. We might agree. We might disagree. That's just how it is. So 
as I said, for Carl's death, I bl- I I don't necessarily accept it of how it went down, but at the same time, it doesn't break how I feel about season eight. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't break. It doesn't. I'm not looking at it made no sense. Yes, there are things that happen, as I said before, namely the Rick and Negan thing. There's so many chances that Rick got to actually kill this guy. I don't understand why the hell he keeps missing. He keeps shooting all these bullets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shooting all these bullets at Negan. Didn't get him. And then you get a chance to bash his head in with the bat. And you use the handle? You know what I'm saying? And I know I didn't talk about it in the review. I know I didn't talk about it in the review. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of times when things are in my head, I don't get it out during the review. But at the same time, there's certain things... If you want a character to last because you know that they're doing damage or whatever as a villain, as an antagonist, whatever the situation is, it's going to seem like, you know, the protagonist, it's going to seem like he can never get ahead um, ahead of him that way. That's how you keep a show interested. Of course, people are going to be frustrated. It's like, why doesn't Rick kill this guy? Why doesn't he kill him? You know, why doesn't he just kill him? This is the real world. They're trying to 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 basically fabric fabricate the real world here. They're trying to produce something real as if this shit would you know nobody you know what I'm saying like something like this, The Walking Dead would actually happen, and similarly in putting them into the real world if this apocalypse should actually happen. But you know we gotta make it seem like fiction at the same time. You get what I'm saying? So it's it, it's it's a weird situation, but. I didn't like the fact that he didn't use the... At least they should have made him swing at him and let Negan get out of the way some way. It would have made it seem more realistic. But to make him get a clean shot at Negan like that and then use the handle of the bat didn't make no damn sense. So yes, there are things that I could call out about the show. Things that I've noticed that are not good. But at the same time, it doesn't take me out of the fact that season 8 is a good season in my opinion. It's not the greatest season of The Walking Dead, mind you, in my opinion. It's not. It's not. It's not like I'm sitting here saying that this season is better than any season that it, it than every season that came before it. I th- I still think season 7 is better than season 8. Way better in my opinion. You know, the tension that was in season 7 You know what I'm saying? It was like a release that happened in episode 16 of season 7. I completely just let go and just rejoiced because finally, after all that buildup, we got a release. You get what I'm saying? We got a release, man. And it felt good for them to to get a W finally. Now, a lot of people talked about... Um, Rick and the garbage people, they're saying that it was unnecessary for him to go back and try to negotiate. Listen, at a time like this, at a time like war, you got to understand something. Yes, they betrayed Rick, but you also got to understand this. And I hear a lot of people say that he shouldn't have went back to them, blah, blah, blah. This is my opinion on it. Take it, take, take for instance this. Yeah. And they ended up leaving him again. And I get it. If he goes back a third time, then he, that's just stupidity. But I understand why they wrote Rick going back to these people. I really do. I really understand why he did it. Because at the end of the day, these people are like business people. They don't have any sentimental connection to anything. They don't want to be connected to anything. It, they're like, the garbage people are like mercenaries. If you guys know what a mercenary is. A mercenary is basically, they'll protect anybody for money. It doesn't matter who they are. They don't care if they're a dictator. They don't care what they do or what they represent. They, As long as you're paying them to do the job, they're going to do the job. That's what a mercenary is. And that's how I look at these garbage people. They are businesses. Yes, you can strong harm them. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, that's what they are. They are going to, to, to go to the side that is going to pay them more. That is going to promise them more. Whatever the situation is. So that's how I look at them. So I don't blame Rick for going back to them and trying to negotiate another contract to see if he can get them back into his business. I do not mind that at all. If you look at it from that perspective, you have a different 
I think you will have a different take on it. Yes, I don't particularly like the garbage people because they ended up leaving him again, but I don't blame Rick for going back. A lot of people had a problem with Rick going back to them because, you know, they they shot him, you know, they 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 turned on them. I get it. But at the end of the day, what I say, they're mercenaries. And that's how I look at them as mercenaries. Yes, they're literally garbage people. And <laughs> that's just what they are. You know, they call them the scavengers or whatever. But they're garbage people. I don't like them. But at the same time, you got to understand what they represent in the context of the show. So that's just my opinion on those things. So when it comes on to... Carl's death, as I've said before, looking at it objective, I didn't like how they did it, but at the same time, it doesn't break my experience in any way for me to be like, I hate season eight because they killed off Carl. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't resonate with me like that, like how it resonated with y'all because I didn't have that information. A lot of people told me after the fact. If this was not something I knew before I watched the show, watch the episode so i didn't know i didn't go in there thinking oh shit they're gonna kill kill off so i didn't know that so i have to give my opinion as i watch the show don't spoil shit for me that's not what i'm saying so don't go spoiling all the deaths for me now because i know probably more people are going to die because that's what i'm expecting from the walking dead but at the same time i still don't want them to kill my characters so that's just what it is okay so that's my opinion on that. I'm so glad you guys, um, if you watch this, just know that I appreciate y'all, man. You guys killed it this week. You guys showed up on time to watch those videos. I saw that when the videos come out, they immediately ran up to about 50 to 100 views. So that's pretty cool, man. I really do appreciate that. Um, you guys really knocked it out of the park this week. And I just want to show my appreciation and just clear some things up on how I'm viewing the walking dead right now appreciate you guys if you guys want to leave a comment on this video that's fine as i said all opinions are welcome just do not call me an idiot for my opinion you know what i'm saying it's just an opinion guys is you know what i'm saying just call me an idiot think i'm a fool or whatever the situation is just don't bring that bs to this channel because you'll probably get mobbed anyways by the rest of the people <laughs> that knows the rules around here okay so thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all man for for showing up and watching the reactions when they drop at seven o'clock um from monday through thursdays really do appreciate y'all y'all got a bonus video see you guys later man please don't forget to like the video too